Let's take a trip to the graveyard with one of the only zombie themed playsets released for Mighty Max coming out in series 3 with the last wave of Doom Zones. This was the one that I remember so well as a kid. One of the first I collected again as part of a lot and it's easily one of the reasons why I have so much nostalgia for the series. So to kick off Mighty Max grips the hand or crushes the hand depending on your region, we have this severed zombie hand. It's got some really amazing details and I really love the way they included all these textures and easily one of my favorite aspects is how they have these gaps and gashes and the really clever way they integrate the colored plastic on the inside with the outside of the playset. So opening up the knuckles, we have a really cool grave plot with a zombie breaking through with a smaller grave beside him for burying the mighty one. I honestly love the details here already with the stairs and the textures between the green, the gravesite and the tombstone all in this little area. It's just a really cool little section built right into the knuckles. Opening up the rest of the set, we can see the rest of the graveyard where Mighty Max is being surrounded by the undead. There's graves, a mausoleum and a lot of sculpted zombies breaking out of the ground in just a rainbow of colours. So yeah fine, a purple and yellow zombie is a bit weird but it does break up the sea of green plastic moulding. And look the textures here are all really solid as well. That's one thing that really helps bring this set alive for me is just the amount of texturing built into this playset in particular. Heading onto the wall of this playset, we have these red veins stretching across with Lignon, Lignon? With Lignon, Master of the Undead. In the comic strip, I believe these red pieces are supposed to represent like a kind of dead trees, like a foresty area with Lignon entangled within. So the comic itself is pretty straightforward. Max is teleported to a graveyard where he starts getting attacked straight away by the zombies. Once he's being caught by Lignan, the uh, evil tree spirit, he gets sent to his death in a mausoleum. But when Lignan breaks in to finish the job, Max grabs a branch that caught fire in a lightning storm to finally defeat the evil tree spirit. So back on the playset, they went ahead and worked that slide into the finger that opens up into the creature's mouth. So yeah, even though that looks a bit out of place, the playset here does have a lot of features packed in and lots of detail that relate back to that comic strip. I think having the finger is a really cool trade-off here between creating an interesting playset with some really cool features and I honestly don't miss the oversized monster or set piece that usually gets lumped in with the Doom Zones. So for the figures that we do get, we get a zombie. Really cool design and you can see the bones poking through and the edgy moulding gives the monster here a really cool falling apart look. We get a Marty Max figure obviously and I grab one with this water gun because it gives me this really awesome Zombies Ate My Neighbors vibe. I love the look of this Marty Max figure and I feel like there's this real backstory here for this one. It's unique, really loved it. And we get Lignon, the master of the undead. He's a tree-like demon and honestly, he's pretty massive. I love the twisted wood look here. One thing I talk a lot about is obviously texture for these micro playsets. The paint applications are always pretty rough and straightforward simply because these are micro playsets with micro characters. Paint isn't going to be amazing, but the textures here create a really cool sense of space and help bring life to the molded plastic. And I think this set does create a really cool atmosphere. So, where's the TV episode? That's my biggest issue with the cartoon series. There just wasn't many zombie themed episodes. And I guess it's hard to bring that horror feel to a morning kids cartoon. They probably had a lot of restrictions in place around the content they could show. So they did use some of the elements from the play set for an Egyptian styled episode called The Mummy's Hand, where the villain is the Egyptian goddess Isis trying to bring back Osiris through a curse that involves using a ring. Max's mother gets the ring and it turns out she's worthy enough. So instead of losing her hand, she summons Osiris and the two gods reunite. 
Um, it's a pretty far-fetched episode, but this is still easily one of my favourite playsets, and I hold a really special place in the graveyard of my heart. If you love this horror stuff, feel free to check out the full list of Mighty Max reviews over on the website. There'll be a link in the description, or I'll also link through to my Halloween episode on the Leftover Culture review. I've basically tried to condense some real awesome 90s horror stuff into one kick-butt gaming video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Leftovers. Cheers.